Is it true that before the Italian unification, the Kingdom of Two Sicilies was one of the most prosperous nations in Europe? Yes. If so, what, called, what caused its downfall? Well, a couple of things. You've got to bear in mind that before the Risorgimento, the Prime Minister of Sardinia, Count Cavour, knew very, very, very well what he wanted to do in terms of uniting the peninsula. So he did two things with Sardinia that nobody else did. One, he put in really confiscatory taxation. So the, the Sardinian government would have a lot more money to play with than the other governments on the peninsula. And then he introduced conscription. So they'd have a bigger army than anybody else. And those two things are what allowed them with on again, off again French and on again, off again British help to conquer the entire peninsula. Now, here's the thing. When the Kingdom of the Two Sicilians was conquered by Garibaldi, uh, it fell relatively quickly. What they don't tell you is about the Guerrilla War that went on for years after Guerrilla, guerrilla yeah. War. The so-called Brindagio, the uh, Brigandagio, the, the brigandage. Uh, they fought for King Francesco for years afterwards. Plus, here's the basic point, the bottom line. Prior to 1860, there was virtually no immigration from Italy. After 1870, when the Resorgimento was completed, there was literally millions of Italians left Italy for anywhere. The United States, Canada, Gallimbardo. Yeah. Got to mention Gallimbardo. Right. Yeah. Of course. Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, uh, Argentina, Brazil, Peru, Mexico. Italians went all over the place, anywhere to get away from the new government. So, if the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies had been backward and stupid and, you know, everything the morons like to yap, where was the pre-war immigration? That's true.